we, we initially looked at what we needed to have in the skill base. So we looked at all of our people, we looked at their skills and, you know, there's a good few gaps. So we tried to fill those gaps with some training and that enabled us to then do um, a big digital strategy. So we're looking at how we can improve things uh, digitally. So the propositions that we've offered, um, especially over the last six weeks with COVID, we've done a lot more digital journeys on our apps and our website. You know, a huge amount more um, is available for customers to do self-service uh, digitally, which wasn't available six weeks ago. And the app on the App Store um, has had, you know, a lot of downloads. It gets good ratings. So we, we, we feel we're getting it, you know, as, about as right as we can, uh, given the speed we're moving at. Um, so we did a big digital journey. We did a big data journey. So... Um, we had someone who used to be the chief uh, data officer for British Army. Um, really interesting chap. Uh, he's retired. He's gone into training. He came in and did some training around data. He then did a um, analysis uh, using an industry model of where our data maturity was, and we looked at the tech, what the tech team thought. We looked at what the commercial team thought. It was absolutely fascinating because they both had a different perception. The commercial team thought most of what we offer them was great, and the, the engineering team, the IT team, thought it was awful. <laughs> um, it was the same technology, so I'm not quite sure why. But anyway, so then we had the discussions around the difference, and we worked out why um, people thought it was good and bad. And the engineers all had a very hard view on the, on their on themselves and what they'd done, whereas the commercial guys were actually quite happy. So that was an interesting learning point for both sides. Mm-hmm.